Zen master Bao She of Mount Magu was waving a fan. A monk approached him and asked, The nature of wind is ever present and permeates everywhere. Why are you waving a fan? The master said, You know only that the wind's nature is ever present. You don't know that it permeates everywhere. The monk said, how does wind permeate everywhere? The master just continued waving the fan. The monk bowed deeply. All the religious of spiritual tradition have certain way or style of practice, and Buddhist or Zen Buddhist particularly have certain uh, style that is in Soto Zen sitting meditation, Zazen is most important uh, forms of practice. But our day-to-day -day activity is also a practice. And there are so many rituals and forms and ceremonies within the monastic traditions that is also a part of our practice. I think we need forms or rituals because we have body. And our life is how to use this body. Our spiritual path is not only our thinking, but we have to walk with our entire body and mind. So we need to know how to use our body as a tool to express one equal zero equal infinity. If we are completely free and we can do anything and we have to invent anything by myself, then it is really difficult to find genuine uh, forms of practice. We need to, at least uh, in the beginning, study what kind of rituals or forms or style of practice have been transmitted in its traditions. And of course, we can change. I understand the teaching that we are connected with everything and we are empty. It doesn't work. That that change my life. In order to transform our life as a whole, including body and mind and spirit, we need to learn how to use our body. And fanning is the way we can cause the wind. Because wind nature is always there, when we practice, we can cause the wind. But without this uh, practice or form or rituals, wind is simply a concept or idea. Because our spiritual path is not only thinking, but it's actual concrete way of living. So we need to learn how to use our body to also. And that is our practice. <laughs> Very amazing. <laughs> When I was young, I thought I, can, I could do anything. <laughs> I, I was healthy and strong, and I felt I can change everything. <laughs> but now I found my life is limited, and uh, sooner or later I disappear. I cannot make change by myself. If you know, this way of life is not transmitted to the next generation, you know, my effort doesn't continue. In a sense, you know, Shakyamuni Buddha is still alive after 2,500 years because we practice, we study and practice his teaching. So if our practice and teaching is uh, continued or transmitted to younger people, our effort, our tradition is ended. That is uh, too bad. So I really hope younger people are interested in some alternative way of life and try to find their healthy way of life. That is the meaning of what I'm doing now as an old person. So knowing aging and knowing our life will end, our life is limited, is really important wisdom. Now I'm 73, and so I couldn't, I cannot sit anymore. I have, you know, pains 
you know, on my knees and buttock and hips. So I cannot sit, you know, to now uh, Hoko is reading our session and retreat. I focus on writing and uh, preparation for lectures. I feel I know how to focus on what I need to do here and now because of the practice and also to do day-to-day -day activity as practice. That means um, mindfully and uh, letting go of thought and remember only the necess necessary things with in what I'm doing. I think that is helpful. That so uh, to me, the practice is like a anchor of the uh, boat. If there's no anchor, ship may go anywhere, depending up, upon the winds. But doing things as practice, I know I need to be here and now. And when I feel I go somewhere else, I know how to return what I'm doing. So I think it's really helpful for me. Even now I cannot sit or practice so much. Still, uh, my way of doing things is part of practice. So when I start to compare who I am and who I used to be, and I think that was better, then I feel just sorry and I, I, I have to say I'm no good at anymore. But this is a very important period of our life, I think. Same as several years after I was born, uh, each year I think I can do something I couldn't do last year. But this is the opposite period. This year I cannot do what I used, I could do last year. But this is not meaningful part of our life. But this is very important part. So uh, aging is a very good practice.